Hello YouTube, Western 97 here, bringing you a continuation of my Let's Go Project Zomboid. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and if you are, please leave a like it. Let me know you want me to prioritise this over the other episode, or games that I play. In the last episode, I got scratched, and then I decided to climb through a broken glass window, which was rather stupid of me. Uh, so I am dealing with those consequences, which basically means I am trying not to die. It's not going well. Um, I need to head back and sleep because I'm going to pass out at some point, which really will suck. But it's a case of I don't really have much of an option because I can't afford to die. Well, that refers that. I really don't want to die. Um, I'll take that burger with me as well. Um, so I'm basically just trying to survive. It's gone from doing quite well to get scratched once and then the whole plan falls apart. Which is typical how, how it happens. Um, why I'm hoping that I can level my first aid up and that will then give me a better chance of surviving. I need to get back to my main base, which is the garage at the moment, to um, get more bandages because they help my healing rate. And I also need to sleep, which I really don't want to do here, but it's one of those. It's, I'm cursed. Um, I'm hoping I can get this done, get back, get to sleep, not get infected or dirty while I'm sleeping. It's just now a waiting game. Um. I'm still bleeding, which is a really bad sign. Um. I'm just really, really hoping. Worst case, I'm going to get plastered. If in doubt, drink. Oh, I know that's. Frick you, zombie. All your fellow zombies will kill like three or four hundred of you. That makes you think you've got the right to come up behind me. situation. Uh dang it. Grab half. Grab half. Um Just not good. Just not good.
So this is a problem now. Oh, wake up. Please have stopped bleeding. Yes, it's gone. That's good. That's one down. And the second one's gone. Yes! I survived! Oh, that made me worried. That really made me worried. Alright. So, that's all good. I'm so happy with that. Feel like getting gun and shooting some zombies. Um I don't really want to use it on the medic at the moment. Um. Actually, I need to pour it into those two balls now. And then put the two balls in there. I need that to make the these and then continue that wall. Obviously, we we realised that I need to start farming quite quickly, or go scavenge. Die, zombie! Um, because I am not going to get any fresh food from any of the houses, um, which is what I normally do. First couple days, but and that wandering around and so it's a case of
It is nice how seeing a zombie spits me out of um, speed mode. Fast mode. <sighs> I like that knife. Um, I think I've got a couple more in here too. How far off am I on oh, my carpentry? Miles, that's far. Behave. Um. Sort of back pain or whatever the um, is. Well, that is a point that doesn't actually improve my medicine, does it? A bit weird. Nor does it actually level up my strength, which is what doesn't appear to. Unless it's really, really slow, in which case, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. get to the point where I'm barely able to move, which does have work quickly on this. Uh, I only have the one XP point, which is really naff. Rest. Or drowsy frickin' now. Um, give me some food, damn it. The super villain. It does seem like jump scares are the only way you chairs up, which is sad really, but... Um, I guess it's the state of hollows nowadays. What's a wall that... I don't know whether to build a wall and just wall it off and put a normal door on it. Um, so I don't think I've got a shovel. Which sucks. Some more trees down there. Sorry. Um. Cut down trees. Slow crawl. What do I need to be to be a door? Carpentry three. Double door, carpentry six. Fair enough. 
Uh, it's going to be a while. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to build a single wall, single door first. Um, Give me a full level, so actually, I might as well sleep. Yes, quick fast forward. <sighs> Do need to read cooking. First aid and quite a lot of other stuff. There's just so much to do now. At least this area is relatively free of zombies. Isn't it? Fire station is a huge problem in the zombie apocalypse. Although they'll sprout back up quite quickly. Uh, I think that is slowly going up. the wall up here and then at least then I hope that zombies don't <coughs> come in as easily Down the tree, man. <laughs> no, for frick's sake, man. Really? Just really? Food either. For... Ah, damn it! One little zombie. Doing so well. Celebrating too well soon, won't it? It's very minor damage, though, so that's that sounds positive. 
Um, click on the cook shop. Add egg. And cheese. This is going to be really weird, but just chuck everything in. Mustard. Another egg. Ketchup. Me jump. My friend invited me to have a game. Um, but I kind of want to see if I survive or not. But I don't know if you're going to find out in this episode. But hopefully, I'll stick it out to the end just in case. I do need to get a cooking book down me. Um, two bowls of rice. Eat one bowl of rice. Chuck in one bowl of rice. And remove the bandage. Put a new bandage on. Get some proper first aid. Grab half. Grab one. Grab one. Grab one. My exhaustion level than anything else at the moment. Um, bandage, disinfect, alcohol, adhesive bandage. Go for the faster healing. Move. Bandage, adhesive. That is not a good location either. It's like this is not my throat that she rips out. That's a good thing, I guess. Um, eat. Oh, how much rice have I got? I've still got rice. That's fine. Oh, cooking pot. Little water bowl. Rice here. I don't know why it's different for placing rice. That makes no sense for me. Um, egg rice. In real life, I would be sick of eating this already. But if it's eat this or die, I think I'd still be eating it. I'd be like, give me that fried rice. Don't mind, I should prefer chicken fried rice to be fair, but. Although I do tend to end up with more rice than I do. I like, but. Eh, yeah, I guess chicken's dearer. I buy cheap, so. It looks like I keep spending all my money on these games, but. Yeah. 
So I, I was good this this time around. I actually managed to not buy anything in the Steam summer sales. So I did well. The fact that I spent uh, seven hundred and something pound on the Fallout game a couple months ago, and I'm still suffering in the wallet for that. Might have had something to do with it, rather than the fact that there's no games that I really want at the moment, because like all my wish list was on sale, but it's always on sale. Um, good enough. Make balls of a fried rice. Sterilized uh, rock sheets. My bandages, dang. Um, oh, come on. Make more egg fried rice. Actually, I should really wash those first. Um, Add rice. Add corned beef for a bit of variety for once. Add 300 eggs. First aid for dummies. So I do think I'm going to get first aid by the end of this. Uh, maybe not this episode. Or at least I should probably have it by the end of this playthrough, definitely. Two scratches and blinking one self harm. It's just a dick. I want to think Joe, but I think. No, George. Joe was my last guy. He's unemployed, but there is no jobs. I'm not even joking. It's a zombie apocalypse. There is no jobs. There is only survival. Drowsy and sleep. I'm gonna pick up some more bandages. Can you bandage up first and then do it? Remove. Bandage. Sterilized bandage. I should just use an all adhesive one, but oh well. Um, Sloop. I'm going to end the episode there and say I've been Weston987 and this has been my Let's Fly Project Zomboid. I hope you're enjoying the series so far and if you are please leave a like, let me know if you want me to prioritise this over the other episodes and hopefully in the next episode you'll see me survive. I hope. Fingers crossed. Until then, take care, goodbye, thanks for watching.